I walked away from it and came back, enjoyed it a little bit more. I wasn't a fan of the credit system and the fact that it is a separate software, but I find myself using it more and more these days. And I just cannot see how a photographer today can go past it and not at least give it a try. my first video and probably not my last about the Evodo software. I can say that maybe 65, 70% of my work now goes through the software, at least for the editing, retouching part. A lot of updates since my last video and I recently was playing with it and wanted to do something I don't do often. Take an image and do all my retouching color grading with the software without going back into Photoshop. Here are the main steps. I will speed up some parts of the video to make it short, but it will give you a rough idea of how I use Evoto in my work or how I use Evoto in general. General skin work, healing, dodge and burn to reduce or erase skin problems like blemishes. I love how you can even out skin tone and color. Brightening up the eyes is now more precise. You can work on the eyes independently and target what parts you want to enhance and brighten. For some of my portraits, I use the contour makeup panel more to give volume and depth to my faces. I still do not apply the creative makeup part, just some contouring. Just make sure you don't go too far. I will still stay away as much as possible from the body and face reshaping tool. It's, it's just not my thing. This software considerably speeds up my process and work with convincing results, especially on full body shots. The closer you get, the trickier it is to make it look good and natural, as some tools still need some improvements. For example, stray hairs doesn't always work. Sometimes it does an amazing job and sometimes, you know, I would do a better job manual. And now let's do some color work. Nothing crazy with the colors, something really simple. If that is something that you do with your work, then yeah, you can do everything in Evoto. You won't feel lost. Everything will feel familiar if you have already used Lightroom or Capture One before.
Another tool I use a bit more is the clothes and accessories touch-up. You can fine-tune your mask to target specific parts of the image, and it does a convincing job at your wrinkling clothes and reducing creases. I'm not a studio guy, but I sometimes do work in studios. I sure enjoyed being able to smooth and even out my plain backdrop with this software. Months fly by so fast, and this software is getting better and better with time. It won't be long until I will use this software for 100% of my work. We will probably get there soon. If a few years back you would have told me that I would use today a AI to actually edit and retouch my images, I wouldn't have believed you. And yes, here we are. AI is here to stay, whether you like it or not. You should at least be a little bit curious and try it for yourself. Yeah, you should do that. Are you planning on using AI or maybe Evoto, the Evoto software for your future work? Please tell me, tell us in the comments below. I guess that I will catch you in the next one. Please take care and until then.